Hi kids, welcome to the last lesson of chapter four. This is lesson eight. Uh, today we're going to learn how to divide mixed numbers. Uh, so right away when you're looking at the title of this lesson, mixed numbers, hopefully you're thinking uh, that that's a whole number and a fraction uh, together. And a lot of this lesson is going to look familiar. Really, we've talked about uh, the main parts of this lesson before, and now we're going to be putting, combining a few things together. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, in, order to, in order to divide fractions, uh, they have to be in the form number over number divided by number over number. And let's write that down. In order to divide fractions, dot, 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 fractions must look like this. And we actually, what I'm going to write next, we actually saw back in the lesson where we talked about multiplying mixed numbers. Same is true for dividing mixed numbers. Your fractions have to look like this. You have to have a number over a number divided by a number over a number. Uh, a mixed number is no good. So if you have a mixed number like this, four and two thirds, that's no good. It doesn't look like this. It has a whole number out on the side and we can't divide with fractions with, I'm sorry, with, with mixed numbers. Okay, we can't do anything with mixed numbers if we're dividing. We first have to get the fractions looking like this. They have to be in this form, number over number, divided by number over number. So this should look familiar. This was, if you look back at your lesson on multiplying mixed numbers, we had this exact same thing. Fractions gotta look like this, number over number divided by number over number. So if you have a mixed number, just like we saw with multiplying mixed numbers, this part is the same. You need to change mixed numbers into improper fractions. Change mixed numbers into improper fractions. And we've done this before. Um, here's what that looks like. Four and two thirds, okay? This is a mixed number. This is no good. So I'm even gonna write this little, what I showed before. This is no good. Four and two thirds is not in this format. It does not look like number over number. So how do we change a mixed number into an improper fraction? Hopefully you're thinking to yourself, it's this. We need to mad face the mixed number. And again, the mad face looks like this. And if my mixed number is four and two thirds, the mouth, the arrow tells me the direction to go. First I'm multiplying and then I'm adding. So I'm going to go like this, this direction. And three times four is 12 plus two is 14. Uh, so this changes into 14 thirds. My denominator stays the same. So this, we can say, yay, it fits. Mixed number, no good 
improper fraction, it fits, number over number. So just like before, we need to change mixed numbers into improper fractions. And to do that, we are using our good friend, the mad face. So this should look familiar with pretty much the exact same thing we wrote about with multiplying mixed numbers. This fractions have to look like this. And if you have a mixed number, whole number and a fraction, you have to mad face it to get it into an improper fraction. So now let's put it all together. Let's look at how would we solve 4 and 2 thirds divided by 2 and 2 ninths. 4 and 2 thirds divided by 2 and 2 ninths. So we've got two mixed numbers. And I know I have to get my fractions looking like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is, first I'm going to copy the problem. 4 and 2 thirds divided by 2 and 2 ninths. And the very first thing I'm going to do is mad face both of them. So I'm going to write over here, mad face So I'm going to do this to both of them, multiply and then add. So when I do the mad face to 4 and 2 thirds, I already know I've done that one, I get 14 thirds. But again, it's 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. My denominator stays the same. Whoops. That should be a 3. Divided by 9 times 2 is 18 plus 2 is 20. This turns into 20 ninths. Now I've got number over number divided by number over number. I've got that. Now I'm going to use the exact same strategy from lesson 7. Once I have this, my strategy is now same, change, flip. So now it's just like what you did in lesson seven. This fraction is going to stay the same. 14 over three, change, divide, gets changed into multiplying, and flip. We want the reciprocal of 20 ninths, which turns into 9 twentieths. Okay, now let's get some highlighting on there. So same, this stayed the same, the change, just like yesterday, that's dividing, getting changed into multiplying, and flip. We want the reciprocal of 20 ninths, which is 9 twentieths. Now we are ready to solve it. I'm going to do the simplifying first to make it easier. Uh, I notice a denominator 3 and a numerator 9. They both have a common factor of 3. How many 3's go into 3? That's 1. How many 3's go into 9? That's 3. I also see even numbers. Even number 20 on the bottom denominator and an even number 14 as a numerator. Let's divide both of those by 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 20 divided by 2 is 10. I like simplifying there uh, before multiplying makes my numbers easier. Now I'm going to multiply 7 times 3 and get 21 over 1 times 10, which is 10. So I get an improper fraction, 21 tenths. I, I want to change that back into a mixed number. How many times does 10 go into 21? It goes in two times. And I have one left over, and my denominator stays 10. So my final simplified all the way answer is 
2 and 1 tenth. So today, this is what you're going to be practicing right here, solving uh, mixed numbers, dividing by mixed numbers. So I'm going to put, I'm going to highlight this section right here. This is a good solid example for you to look at. So just to recap, lesson eight. Got to get your numbers looking like this if you have mixed numbers. Number over number divided by number over number. Use the mad face if it's a mixed number to make it into an improper fraction. That's what we did right here. Mad faced both of these mixed numbers. After you do that, then it's just like lesson seven. Same change flip. This fraction stays the same. We rewrite division to multiplication and then we flip or take the reciprocal of the second fraction. And then we multiply and simplify. Uh, that's it for lesson eight. Uh, this is the last lesson, so uh, after the review, we'll be doing uh, taking the chapter four test real soon. Hidden treasure for this lesson is in your workbook. Go back to page 66 and look at the power-up question number 21. If you look at that question and can explain it uh, during the next lesson, you could be winning some hidden treasure. Good luck. I hope you make it. I'll see you next time. Actually, next uh, time I see you, it will, we'll be doing Chapter 5, moving on to Chapter 5.